Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Maddie here from Chill TCG. We're back with another Fusion Strike deck profile to take a look at. Today we're going to be looking at the new Gengar V and VMAX, which came out in Fusion Strike. Uh, single Strike, Dark type Pokemon. This thing is a big heavy hitter. Uh, very similar to things... Uh, other single strike cards like we've seen single strike urshifu is one that comes to mind another one i believe is tornadus vmax and these are cards that uh, require um you know three four energies to attack but uh do massive massive damage gengar vmax is no different dark type here single strike weak to fighting retreat cost of three and uh, we have two attacks fear and panic does 60 damage for each v um or gx pokemon that's in play very interesting that gx is still in the card text but cool nonetheless and that's for two energy so this can actually rack up pretty well most decks are running v or gx pokemon to be honest with you and they're going to fill them up on their bench we're going to do tons of damage uh with this attack for only two energy the third one g max swallow up does 250 for three um and then we cannot attack during the next turn so uh this can be scaled up tremendously right if we have uh four or if we have two at least single strike energies attached to this gengar um then we're up to 290 if we get three on here uh then all of a sudden we're up to 310 damage if we get all four energies on this gengar we're hitting for 330 damage and that is going to knock out pretty much everything in the entire format so very fun very fun um very fun deck here with gengar v max however we have it paired with other single strike cards um very similar to like you might see in an umbreon v max deck or a single strike urshfu v max deck we are running a 4-3 houndoom lineup and this is going to allow us to accelerate those single strike energies uh very very nice uh this houndoom should be in pretty much every single strike deck i would think and then we have a 2-2 umbreon v max lineup this is kind of a secondary attacker. It's nice because we're weak to grass and Gengar's weak to fighting, so we can kind of split that weakness up uh, nicely. On top of that, though, um, the Dark Signal ability, pretty much a boss's orders, uh, very, very nice to have as well, can be super, super clutch. Other than that, just tons of consistency cards here. We have one Crobat for some draw support, <coughs> rather. Excuse me. Uh, we have four Evolution Incense, two Great Balls, and four Quick Balls. So plenty of Pokemon Search in here. We also have four Switch cards. We have th uh, three Urn of Vitalities. This is going to help us get those Single Strike Energies back out of our discard pile. And then we also have four Tower of Darkness. Very great, uh, consistent uh, Single Strike Stadium card. When this is in play, we can discard a Single Strike card from our hand to draw two cards. Very nice. We have tons of Single Strike cards in our deck. Uh, three Bosses Orders on top of the two Umbreon. So Bosses Orders, definitely uh, gusting is going to be very popular in this deck, something that we're going to want to do pretty often. And then we have four Marnie, four Research, consistent draw support, like I said. And then we're running a total of 11 energies, probably a little bit high uh, realistically, but I like to run you know, one or two extra energies in a deck, make sure that I always get those manual attachments early on. And we're running four of the single strike energies and seven of the normal dark energies. Very good. The deck list is pretty simple. Like I said, it kind of falls in line with other single strike decks. We want to set up early game, uh, set up our board state, get all our Pokemon out there, and just start hitting home as hard as we can and as quickly as we possibly can. So I love Gengar VMAX. I think it's a really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, very nice to have another really solid dark type attacker in the format right now. Um, now, being weak to fighting is a little bit tough. Of course, lots of fighting type decks that are really good in the format. Urshifus uh, are one that stand out to me particularly. However, um, I think that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good deck. It really is. We'll see how it works out. Uh, we're going to hop onto the ladder, play some games, showcase some gameplay for you guys. But before we do that, don't forget to go check out PTCGO Store right up here. PTCGO Store is the best place to go uh, for any of your PTCGO codes. Fusion Strike just released. So if you're looking to get some of those Fusion Strike codes, I highly suggest that you go to PTCGOStore.com and use the promo code CHILL5. Uh, that is C-H-I-L with the number five at the end all one word uh, or you can just click the link down in the description below and that'll bring you to the website and automatically apply that uh that promo code to get five percent off your entire order definitely go check it out all right let's hop onto the ladder guys let's play some games and uh yeah let's see what this uh this gengar v max can really do let's hop onto the ladder here Ladder matches are tough with Gengar VMAX, at least that's what I've found here in the last few games. Lots of people are playing Rapid and Single Strike Urshifu, probably the most popular decks uh, in the entire format right now. So, uh, tough being a uh, little Gengar VMAX weak to fighting, but we'll try it out. We'll try our best here. Uh, this hand, interesting. Definitely pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to start with the Houndur. Okay, we have a quick ball so we can grab another target. Let's try to get an idea of what deck that we're playing against here. We see the Sobble, so really it could be almost anything at this point. Let's put the uh, Tower of Darkness in play and get rid of one of our other Tower of Darknesses. We have three of them in the hand, draw two more cards. Okay, so there's one Gengar V, which is nice, and let's attach the energy to it. Now I think what we're going to do is quick ball away. I kind of want to quick ball away the other quick ball. 
but we could quick ball away in energy. I know we have extra energy in the deck, and we're going to Marnie anyway. Um, and I think that might be the play. Give us a target um, in case he plays his own stadium next turn. We're going to grab another Hounder. Grab that other Hounder, and we're going to pass here. We're going to pass right here. We have four of these bad boys in, in, in our deck list, so we can afford to get rid of one or two of them throughout the game. We have a Marty for next turn. Okay, so let's see what we're playing up against. Seeing the Sobble. Um, well, so far we've seen Sobble, Quick Ball, and Marnie, so that could be literally like almost any deck in the entire format right now. Uh, it's Victini, actually, which is which is interesting. This matchup is, is um, you know, I don't think it's that bad, uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you. He might be playing Umbreon himself, too. I don't know. Maybe not. He's going to attach to the Sobble so we can keep calling. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're in a terrible spot. Uh, he's going to Marnie us, but that could be good. It could possibly be pretty good. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what he, he uh, Marnie's us into. Okay, so we have a Research, Evolution, Incense, and an Energy. So, honestly, not that bad um, of, of a hand to be Marnied into here. And we're going to draw one off the top deck. He's going to populate his board with some more of those Sobbles. Okay, and we have a Switch as well, which is actually kind of good. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch into the Gengar. And we're going to evolve this Gengar up uh, pretty quickly. We want to get our board state set up. Unfortunately, we're going to have to discard one of our urn of uh, vitalities. But, could be worse. Could be worse, I think. Um, okay, another interesting hand. But let's go ahead and... Hmm, what do we want to quick ball away here? I, I do want to quick ball, I think. Um, because I would like to probably get an Umbreon down. But I don't know what I want to get rid of. You know? First of all, let's Evolution Incense, though, I think. Um, so we have two Umbreon V, one Umbreon... Let's grab the Hound Dooms because we're grabbing the. We're going to set these up for the Evolution Incense. Okay. I might keep this other one, though, in hand at the moment. Um, I, I feel like I should be quick balling away something. Um, let's quick ball away a Gengar B Max. Because um, I think. We're probably just going to go with one Umbreon and one Gengar. And let's grab ourselves the Umbreon. Let's go ahead and put that guy down. Now, we do just take the KO with Fear and Panic. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is Single Strike Roar um, 1 to the Umbreon. Just to get that energy attachment onto it this turn. Um, and now, we're going to go ahead and just take a uh, 1 prize KO on the Sobble. Just doing 80 damage. Nothing too crazy. Um, but, we're going to grab an Umbreon VMAX, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We can have uh, another Houndoom and an Umbreon VMAX next turn. <clears throat> I wonder. Because he's bringing up the Victini... And he's going to evolve it. Um, he can do 220 damage to us, uh, but potentially we might be able to KO him. Because uh, 310 damage is something we could hit if we have three of the single strike energies attached to our Gengar. So I think that might be the play for us um, next turn. We'll see what he does. He might have a way to discard some energies or whatnot, but we have an urn anyway. So I'm not feeling too bad about our situation <laughs> in this game. We'll see. We'll see. Gengar is very fun. It is very fun. You kind of fish for those nice one-hit KOs. Um, it's a little bit tough. I think I might want to run, like, Vitality Band in this deck or um, maybe some other damage modification uh, cards just to kind of make it a little bit easier because uh, I believe that is kind of the idea with Gengar um, is to just hit really hard and, and perhaps get a one-hit KO. I think that's typically the play uh, if you're playing Gengar VMAX. So we'll see. We'll see what he does here. He's going to grab another Victini. Okay. Okay. And an Evolution Inset. So he's going to just be kind of continuing to uh, upgrade his board state, uh, get things set up, right? He's going to get these Drizziles in play. He's going to find the cards that he wants to. Unfortunately, though, not finding the Energy Attachment a previous turn, he does grab the Energy Search now. Um, so potentially he might just be spreading flames. He's got one Fire Energy and one Water Energy. Okay, this is interesting. So he actually has the Water. He's running Melanie. This is a cool deck. Uh, this honestly is a pretty cool deck. Okay. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to Single Strike Roar. We're going to grab one of those. Put it onto our Gengar. We're going to attach the third one. Uh, for sure. And I think we're going to use this Evolution Incense. We're going to grab another Houndoom. And I don't think I want to play any of the other cards in our deck. Um, or in our hand, rather. I don't think we want a Marnie here. I think we just want to take the KO. Um, and possibly set ourselves up uh, for next turn. So... Let's go ahead and hit him with the Swallow Up. Going to be doing that nice 310 damage. 
pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. We're going to take three prize cards. That's an energy. That's a Tower of Darkness. Pretty good card to have. And then another Houndur. Okay. All right. Hey. Could be worse. It could be worse. We're probably going to get KO'd this turn. If we don't, that's great. Um, but if we do, that's fine because we also have an Urn of Vitality, right? So we're going to be able to set up this Umbreon VMAX with some nice damage. Um, we can also evolve it, boss up too. So there's a lot of nice things that we're going to be able to do next turn. We see the energy attachment on the Victini. There's the evolution. If he has a way to evolve this Sobble or either of these Drizziles. Okay, so we don't see the Melanie. He's going to actually Marnie us. That could be tricky. That could be tricky. But I think we have several ways of, of kind of having a pretty decent next turn. This is a, an interesting hand to get Marnie into for sure. Uh, but it might not be that bad now that I think about it. It might not be that bad. There's the Drizzile. And what could he be grabbing with the Drizzile here? Does he have another way of attaching energy other than a supporter? I don't know if he does. He might have... Nah, I don't think so. I don't think there's any other way for him to get an extra energy on this Victini. We'll see, though. <laughs> we'll see We'll see what, he, uh, what he's got to pull out here. Um, I'll be interested to see. He's taking his time. Claudito, seven. He's going to grab the scoop up net. Okay, interesting. So he's probably going to scoop up one of these Drizziles to reuse it for next turn. Not a bad play, and he's going to go into one of his other Drizziles. Okay, now one thing to note is we can't actually attack with this Gengar this turn, so we want to find a way to get out. We do, actually, which is pretty darn good. Uh, let's Quick Ball away the Houndoom, I think. And what we're going to do is we don't have Crobat. Hmm. I think we're going to grab another Umbreon. I'm going to grab the other Umbreon. Yeah, it's it's honestly just really tricky. There's not really anything we can do this turn. Unfortunately, right? So, I think what we do here... Hmm. I think what we do is switch into this Umbreon. I think that's kind of the best play we can do. And... We're going to hit with a mean look. Do we boss, though? I don't know if we really want to boss anything up. We're doing 50 damage with the mean look. We could bring up this Victini to do 50 damage to that. But I don't know. I think we're just going to go ahead and mean look. He can't retreat this turn, so that could be good. I know he has scoop up nets, probably has switch cards, things like that. So we're probably not locking him in the active here uh, very effectively. But unless he has... Okay, so there's Zare Balloon. He can't retreat, though. Interesting. Interesting play. Um, the Shady Dealings comes out. So he here he might be grabbing the switch, I, I would think. Um, I would assume. Or Boss's Orders. If he, okay, okay, quick, quick, quick ball. I, okay, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on at the moment. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he ends up doing here. He's going to quick ball away a research for another Victini B. Interesting choice. The music is so intense on PTCGO. It really is. All right, so he benches that Victini. His deck is pretty darn cool, though, with the Melanie and the water energies. I like it. I really do. And now he's going to research. So no boss's orders coming out here. I think he's just digging for the switch. But the fact is that he can't. he's not going to be killing our Gengar this turn. So I think no matter what, we have game in hand, I think. Because um, if he KOs active, we're just going to bring up Gengar, boss up the Victini. Um, he's going to air balloon that Victini. Here comes the level ball. I don't know. He's kind of just playing cards at this point. Going to fail the level ball. Doesn't have any target in deck. Going to do it yet again with another level ball. Okay. Mean look coming in clutch, though. Looks like he's rocking uh, air balloons as a switch out cards, and he just doesn't have another way to switch out. Um, yeah, so that is actually. Well, we still. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we actually have to research here because we have no way to get out of the active. We could boss, but then what? You know what I mean? Um, so I think we have to research here because we have an Umbreon VMAX. Like we don't, you know what I mean? We don't need to rely on that. Yeah, so we have game now. Let's switch into the Gengar and let's evolve our Umbreon VMAXs. This is the nice part about Umbreon VMAXs. Uh, oh, Path to the Peaks in play. Oh, no. We have made mistakes. We have made mistakes, guys. Hey. 
It's fine. I think. I think we're fine. If I'm being honest with you. I totally forgot about that, though. Totally forgot. Uh, either way, though, we're just going to take one prize card here, and then we have another Umbreon and Energy in hand to just finish the game next turn. Uh, but, unfortunate. That Path to the Peak definitely coming in clutch for him. Um, and, uh... Unfortunately, we don't find our, our Tower of Darknesses. It would have been super cool if we had the Tower of Darkness. Uh, okay, so... Evolution Incense coming out. I think we're fine, though. Right? Unless we get Marnie this turn, which we could. For sure. We could definitely get Marnied. That would be tough. But I think we win the two-hit KO trade anyway, right? I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, he's just going to KO the Gengar. Um, and that is going to be... Um, well, actually, I mean, I don't know, right? He goes down to three here. What do we top deck? Evolution Incense? All right, we're going to play the Great Ball. We're going to fail it. We're going to attach to the active. We're going to play Evolution Incense. Going to fail it. Um, can't uh, boss anything up this turn. Can't play Crobat or Umbreon because we don't have... The ability to do so with Path to the Peak in play. So I think we're just going to max Darkness and set ourselves up for a two-hit KO. Um, this is tough. This is tough. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> it's We're not in as good of a spot as I would like to be. Yeah, he's going to set up a second Victini. So he's going to be able to just come in with this Victini. Um, and unless we have a way to boss or, or gust up, uh, unfortunately, we discarded two bosses' orders. Um, but my, we have more left in the deck. We have one more left in the deck. We also have two Tower of Darknesses left in the deck. Um, and really, I think all we need here is... Well, we're in a tough spot because both of the cards that we really probably will, will need at one point are in our hand. And I don't think we have another Umbreon. Ooh, mistakes were made. I think mistakes were made here, chat. Here, guys. I don't think we, uh, I don't think we can do it. Okay, we have a Vitality. Earn a Vitality. Shuffle a couple of these bad boys back in the deck. Okay. Now we're forced to retreat. Um, we are forced to retreat. And hope that he doesn't have boss's orders. But I feel like it's pretty likely that he does. I mean, we haven't seen any of them yet. He only has eight cards in deck. Four in hand. So I'm almost guaranteeing that he has the boss's orders in hand. But we got to play it out. We got to play it out. Let's go. Single strike roar. Uh, let's attach this to the active. The path to the peak, man. Coming in clutch. It's coming in clutch. Definitely hurt, hurt our deck here. Uh, couldn't play the Crobat or the Umbreon. Uh, very unfortunate. Uh, I'm almost certain that he has a boss's orders in his hand. So, you know, it'd be incredible if he didn't. Uh, but I'm almost positive that he probably does have a way to bring us up. Um, okay, so we see the level ball here. Um... Again, I don't think he has anything in deck. I think he's probably just looking through his deck at this point. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so he's going to test the water energy. Does he not have a boss in this three-card hand? Maybe his bosses are prized. He's going to ping the active. Still not getting KO'd. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, if he had boss, hopefully he would have just played it by now. I would have, I would have thought. Yeah, he's just gonna attack the active. How did we, how did we manage to get away with this? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. But listen, we got the win. That's all that matters. Uh, probably didn't play very well at all. But listen, Umbreon VMAX came in clutch. Uh, Gengar did get that one hit KO though, which was super, super cool. Um, and that's kind of what Gengar does the best, I think. Let's hop into one more game. Uh, win or lose, it'll be in the video. It'll be in the video. But let me know. What I could have done better in that previous game. Honestly, just let me know. I really don't mind you guys uh, telling me how bad I am in the chat. In the comment section. Because it's probably true. You know, I can't, you know. Listen. We all know it. Alright, here we go. Do I want to go first? Yes, I would like to go first. Uh, most definitely. What do we got in the hand here? We have a good deck. Thank you. You haven't even seen my deck yet. Uh, looks like we're starting off with the Umbreon. He will be taking the Mulligan though. I like this coin. Ooh, he's playing against... We're playing the Mew VMAX. Uh, unfortunately, though, he is weak to dark. So, hey. Uh, we're in a pretty good spot here, I think, in this matchup. We could still lose. Definitely still possible. Let's get the Tower of Darkness in play. We're going to discard one of these energies. Draw a couple more cards. Okay. Uh, not much we can really do. Um, and this is actually really unfortunate. It's actually very unfortunate. 
um, because this this start is like really bad. We didn't couldn't get any Hounders on board. Uh, we didn't find any of them. No Quick Balls or anything like that. So um, it's tough. He's gonna play the Chili Cylon and Cress. And he's going to get three Fusion Strike Pokemon and put them all into his hand. So that's actually quite good for him. Probably going to be grabbing those uh, Genesects, I believe, is what this deck really wants to be doing. Okay. Okay. I love Mew V, though. It's such a cool card. Such a cool card. Yeah, there goes the Genesex and the Oricorio. So this is a pretty standard, I think, list when it comes to Mew. We're going to be utilizing Genesex as a draw engine as well as utilizing the Techno Blast attack. Um, okay, so we get one energy. So we can energy mix. your deck for one energy and attach to one of your future straight Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. It's actually quite a good card, uh, for being honest with you. Uh, it would be really nice if we were capable of KOing. If we had a Gengar, if this was a Gengar uh, instead of an Umbreon, then we'd be in a pretty much a better spot. But yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so there's a Crobat. Um, okay, so here's what we are going to be doing. I think we're going to Tower of Darkness away another energy. Draw two more cards here. Okay, so here's the Gengar. We'll put that in play. We're going to play the Urn. Shovel two of these bad boys back into our deck. Now, let's go ahead and Great Ball. You might be a little bit salty that we're playing a Dark-type deck. Uh, let's get the Houndoer in play. Okay. So here's the question, right? The question, we don't really want to evolve Umbreon because we can't, or maybe we do, so we don't get KO'd next turn. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just evolve the Umbreon. Bring up the Mew. Now, I think what we're going to do here is... We can't attack, unfortunately, right? Um, but do we want to play any of these other cards before we Crobat to draw more cards, right? Um, we could boss, like we could bring up the Genesect or something. Um, and maybe that is the play. Let's just do it. Let's bring up the Genesect, force him to have to switch out, and then we'll Crobat. Uh, we're going to draw three cards. We find another energy, so that's cool. We also find Quick Ball, Quick Ball, which is pretty cool, actually. So let's go ahead and Quick Ball away. Hmm. Let's Quick Ball away switch for, I think, another Houndour. We'll put that down and i think we're actually just going to pass nothing else we can really do here uh honestly nothing else we can really do here so now he's he needs uh evolution on the mew energy and a switch out okay we're gonna get marnie it's fine it's, it's not that bad um i mean i probably maybe i should have played another umbreon knowing i might get marnie might have been the better play um but hopefully hopefully we still uh you know, hopefully we're still fine, I think. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. You never know. You never know. But I'm confident. All right, he benches a second Mew here. Air Balloon. So he does have the switch out. But does he have a way to evolve this Mew? He's going to go ahead and Genesect, though. And this is Genesect is very good when it comes to drawing cards. So he's going to draw two there. Draw till he has five cards in hand. And then he can do it again for this other one. Okay. Battle Pass VIP. Interesting card. Very interesting item card, I think. Um, but uh, I really do love Mew and Genesec. We're going to be doing a video on this deck here pretty soon. Uh, he's also running the Galarian Zapdos, which I find to be an interesting card. And the Fog Crystal. So, I don't know. What is he going to be grabbing here with the Fog Crystal? Looks like nothing, really. Okay, yeah, he's just kind of burning, so he can go ahead and Fusion Strike System. Okay. We'll see. He does have the Retreat out, but if he brings up the Mew, we're going to just KO, right, with Max Darkness. So I think we're in a pretty okay spot. He also has plenty of V Pokemon on the bench, so we can actually do insane damage with Gengar V Max with just two energies onto it, uh, which is going to be really nice, I think, actually. It's going to be pretty uh, beneficial for us. Uh, so he does bring up the Mew. He might just be doing the Psychic Leap. Just shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into his deck. It's probably the best play for him, actually, right? If we're being honest, I think that probably is the best play for him. Oh, he actually just uh, energy mixed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I think what we're going to do here is 
Um, hmm. <laughs> we have no energy in our discard pile. Uh, let's evolve. We definitely want to attach the active just to take the KO this turn, right? Um, but... Is Tower of Darkness away the Umbreon? Draw a couple more cards here. Okay. Uh, let's Quick Ball away the Tower of Darkness. And now we don't have any more Umbreon, so I think we're just going to grab another Gengar. Uh, kind of the only other Pokemon we would like to put down uh, on our board here. And we're going to go ahead and Professor's Research. Draw a nice big hand here. Let's evolve the second Hounder. No single strike energies in the discard. So we're just going to feel free to max darkness here. Uh, Umbreon definitely coming in clutch. Um, we don't really need the absolute power of Gengar in this matchup because we are heading for weakness, which is pretty good. Uh, but, okay. Okay. It's crazy because, like, I, I've been playing, like, all day. I haven't even seen, like, any Psychic-type decks. Like, I feel like Psychic is, like, the the most popular type in the game right now. But I haven't seen any. It's been all Urshifu, all, all Fighting-type and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Look at this awesome card. It's so cool. Very, very, very cool. All right. She plays the Elisa Sparkle, so she's going to attach a couple energies to her Fusion Strike Pokemon. All right. So we can see a Max Miracle here. Or a Cross Strike Fusion from the Mew this turn. But it puts him in a tricky situation, right? Because, of course, like, Mew is your primary attacker in the deck, but we're, it's weak to dark, right? So it puts him in a tricky spot. We actually see that he has uh, the Latias, which is a nice pick, actually, uh, with Dyna Barrier. This could be a pretty uh, interesting card to have in the deck. Old Cemetery. That's very interesting, actually. Okay. Old Cemetery. Sure. And then here comes the Power Tablet. Air Balloon to Retreat. For the Zapdos, okay. So I think what he's trying to do, right, is he's just gonna, he's, I think he might just KO us with Zapdos, right? I think he totally can. So I think that's gonna be his play, which is a good play, I think, for sure. Okay, he actually goes into the Mew. Interesting. He could have KO'd with Zapdos, right? He definitely could have, I think. All right, let's put Tower of Darkness into play. I'm gonna Great Ball. Um, and there's a Gengar VMAX, so we'll grab that for sure. I'm going to Tower of Darkness away the Umbreon, because we don't have any more VMAXs in the deck. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Whew. There's a lot going on here. Another Evolution Incense. Grab another Gengar. I like the, uh, the, the symmetry on our board right now. It is quite nice. Um, we could stand with Umbreon and just take the KO here. But I think we're going to Marnie. Yeah, I know we don't have as many cards in deck. But yeah, we're going to Marnie. Uh, just so we can potentially see a boss's orders or something next turn. Or have some stuff in hand for next turn. And we do, which is pretty good. Which is pretty darn good. Uh, so let's attach to this Gengar. And we're going to single strike Roar. We only have one left in the deck. So I think what I'm going to do is stack up onto one Gengar. I think that's the play. I don't think we want to split energies here. And we're just going to KO the Mew. Four three prize cards. Oh, we can't. Oh, I forgot. Because he used the... Uh... <laughs> That's actually really funny. Because I think he used the Dyna Barrier? Or no, what, did, what attack did he use? I think he used Dyna Barrier. Did he? But he only has two energy attached. Oh, no, he can't. Yeah, okay, I see. I see how it is. Because if you have two energies, you can use any of the attacks. So that's what he did. He Dyna Barriered. Okay, so that's actually kind of cool. That's pretty smart, actually. I like that. That's actually really cool. Makes this deck a lot more interesting, actually. Being able to Dyna Barry and then, and then not uh, be able to get KO'd. Uh, which is cool. Which is super cool, actually. I like that. I still don't think he can... Oh, no, he can. He can actually Techno Blast for KO if he has third energy. Uh, but if he does, then we KO him back. But then we're in a spot, I think, where his Zapdos might be able to just KO us, right? Okay, so he's going to play the Tablet. Hmm. Huh. Okay. He's going to draw some more cards. Okay, okay. 
So I think the only way for him to KO here is to use... Oh, he's going to boss. So is he going to just KO Gengar? Yeah. That's actually a smart play for him. I think that's a very smart play. Hmm. So now we're forced to KO Zapdos here. But if we do that, right, we can't... Hmm. Yeah, that puts us in a really bad spot, actually. Okay. I think we have to bring up this Gengar, actually. I think this is literally what we have to do. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do that. And then we're going to be forced to research here. Uh, we're going to research and we're going to try to dig for and earn a Vitality. We do find it, which is pretty cool. We'll shuffle two of those bad boys back into our deck. And we're going to go ahead and start Single Strike Roaring to our active Gengar to take the KO. Now, if he has boss's orders, I think we just lose. Which is tough. Um, but the Zapdos really came in clutch form here. It really, it really, really did. It really did. And this did as well. So his deck honestly had a lot of answers uh, to us here. Uh, really did help improve his matchup. Okay. So yeah. Um, we can just fear and panic for the KO, right? He's got four in play. So this will do enough. So yeah. If he has boss's orders, then he takes this game for sure. Um, and I believe he probably does, or at least he has a good way of finding it. I think he only has one boss's orders in his discard pile. Uh, yeah. And he's got a seven, he's about to have a seven card hand. Or, or an eight card hand, rather, too. Only 15 cards in deck. So I think it's pretty likely. I think it's pretty likely that he has boss's orders here for a game. Uh, so we'll give him the smiley face. He played it well. His deck was really, really good, actually. The Zapdos really came in clutch. And there's the boss's orders. We're gonna take the L. We're gonna take it there. Um... Uh, you know, I think I misplayed probably when I attacked with Umbreon. Uh, mainly because I didn't... I just wasn't paying attention, I suppose. Um, I didn't know exactly how Mew worked because I didn't know that he would be able to uh, use Latios' attack with only two energy. Because I kind of thought it was like Mewtwo, where you needed the same amount of energy attachments. But hey, we'll take the L. We'll take the L. That guy had a super cool deck, uh, and it was definitely really fun. I definitely might make a video on the deck that he played. I really do like Mew Max with Genesect. Fusion Strike Toolbox, it actually looks super super fun all right guys i'm gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching what do you guys think of gengar vmax is it a cool deck is it a good deck i think it's pretty good um i don't think it's absolutely insane i think that um it's a single strike deck right it does a lot of damage you pile energies on you use the houndoom engine but i think it is pretty darn cool um and it's nice to have another dark type heavy hitter in our format right now uh so don't forget to like the video and subscribe i've been maddie from chill tcg you guys have a great night we'll see you guys next time and uh yeah and yeah peace out Peace on, peace on out of here, guys. Have a good one. Uh, check out PTCGO store, by the way. Link down in the description below. All right, guys. Peace out.